if you can see it, but I have a new pet. I have a fly that is driving me crazy. Okay, this fly has been in this room back here. I know the door is closed, but I have it open all night during the night when I'm sleeping. And this fly has been in here since Saturday. Today is Monday. It is humongous, this fly. How it can still be alive, I don't know. It is driving me crazy. But I refuse to kill it. <laughs> I kind of given it its props for surviving this long with nothing to do in here. And why it stays in this room, I don't know. And at first I just thought it was like one of my eye floaters going around. But no, it's, it is a fly. It, and it's a huge fly. And I don't know how it, why it doesn't want to leave this room. <laughs> it's just, it wants to stay in here with me forever and ever, I guess. Because this door for this room has been open since at least 12 hours. And it, unless it has a nest in here somewhere. I don't know, do flies have nests? I don't know, I can't even see. I don't even know where he went now. He's hiding on me now. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's driving me crazy. There he is. He's up on the wall there. He's just sitting there, taunting me. Taunting me. There he goes. There he goes. He's just driving me crazy. Okay, that fly is still annoying me. <laughs> but what, it did, what I did notice is um, I got some cobwebs going on in the corner of my, my ceiling up here. I'm going to have to get the duster out to clean that out. Maybe that's what the fly was here to direct me to the mess in my room back here. They just can't accept that because the spiders are going to get in there and grab them, I guess. But anyway, we only have one birthday today because today is Judy K. Slowy Sly. Boy, that's a mouthful, isn't it? So Judy K., happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Judy. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Well, I hope you have a great, great birthday. Because today is, did I say that? Because I was going on and on about the fly. Today is Monday, October 7th. <laughs> oh, that fly. I know my hair is like, oh, all abreast, all askew. But uh, Judy, have a happy birthday. I know I'm in a silly mood today. I don't know why. But um, I did make a mistake. Believe it or not, I made a mistake. On Saturday, I sang happy birthday to Kathy Wolsey. W-O-L-S-E-Y, -O -O -E Woolsey. Um, but it wasn't her birthday. It was their anniversary. It was their 45th anniversary, her and Steve. <laughs> so, Steve and Kathy, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, I hope you have a great, great anniversary. Well, no, not that. Well, next year when you're 46th. But I hope you had a great anniversary this past Saturday because I did kind of mess that up. <sighs> I know I'm in a silly mood today. I watched Edie, Edie's Adventures, and I watched I watched a lot of videos today. I watched Edie's, and I watched Valerie Reese, and I watched Terry Weeks, and I watched Mary France, No Excuses. Uh, I watched Jones Point. Oh, no, it's not Jones Point. I played anymore. Rise and Shine Suburban Homesteading. I watched that. And I'm just getting ready to watch a girl on her phone. But I thought, i got to get my video going here. Um, Jim and I still have to do the tag video. The No Tag Tuesday is tomorrow. And so I'm going to see if Jim wants to do that. Um, what else are we going on? Oh, uh, Jim's friend came and fixed the furnace today. The part cost $285. And we gave him $50 for doing it because he does it on the side. It was like... He, let, he came on his break from work. He was in and out of the house in 10 minutes. <laughs> it's like, Jim, why can't you do that? You know, when Edie goes on and on about um, Ray fixing all of this stuff all the time, she, he's saving her a lot of money because I think Jim could have put this part in, I think. I think he could have done it. I really do. <sighs> anyway, now we have heat. It's getting a little chilly today. It's supposed to go down to 42 degrees tonight. We slept, it was 46 last night. I had my window open. It was so nice. <laughs> It was so nice. But, you know, I think a 46 in the fall is different than a 46 in the spring. Because I think a 46 in the spring still feels like winter. I don't know why, but it does to me. Or maybe I'm just so used to the colder weather. I don't know. I don't know. Can you hear my birds? They're all out there going crazy. They're all going crazy. They go, oh my gosh, she filled our feeders. <laughs> we can eat. We can eat. Um, what else is going on? Oh, I get. I did my weigh-in. I didn't weigh myself last week. 
um, and I weighed myself today. So let's take a look. I'm sure you could tell by my tone I wasn't very much impressed with my weight. <laughs> but I did gain 3.1 pounds in two weeks. Um, but I still have a loss of 39.8. I'm going to try to finish the year strong. Still got a few months left here in this year of 2024 that I can get back on track and uh, just not give up. I, I mean, I get discouraged, but I don't give up. I, I just keep on chugging away, chugging away trying to do the best I can. I was surprised when I told Jim I was going to go to Kroger's today. He didn't want to go. I was shocked. I was really shocked. But uh, I just kind of like amazed at some of my own strength because I went to get some bottled water. I don't drink bottled water, but I like to have bottled water just in case. You never know what the thing's going on. And my grandkids, heaven forbid, they drink out of the tap. Oh, my gosh. All my water I drink out of the tap. I drink tap water all day long. They don't drink tap water. They got to have bottled water. So I always like to have bottled water. But the uh, little pyramid that was built up was so high up. And I went for the, I usually get the 24 pack. And for some reason, muscle woman here today thought that she was going to get the 48 pack. Oh my gosh. And there was nobody around to help me. And I thought, no, I'm determined. I'm going to get this down. I don't know how I did it. I honestly don't know how I did it. But I got it down from the little tower without killing myself and got it into the buggy. And it was like, oh. <laughs> and then my whole thought was, how am I going to get it in the trunk of the car? <laughs> so it's just like, it was like, anyway. And so then I went and uh, I got uh, the rest of my groceries and didn't realize until I had the heavy stuff in my cart because I got like a 24 pack of Diet Pepsi and a 24 pack of uh, root beer. And then I got um, a bottle of distilled water, a gallon of distilled water for Jim's. Uh, breathing machine that he got that CPAC CPAP machine and just my other stuff and I didn't realize till I was ugh, I had the crappiest buggy the wheels wouldn't turn I felt like I was pushing up like a thousand pound rack up a hill it was like I was like <sighs> I was like I was really working at this and then at one point I remembered that I forgot something and I thought I'm not pushing this cart I just left the cart and then when found the little few things that I needed and came back and then when I got to the car, I thought, how am I going to get this water into the car? Because <laughs> I was like, at that point, I was tired. I really was tired. And I'm looking all around. I was going to see if somebody would help. There was nobody around. Because I made a point of parking at the farthest end of the parking lot, way in the back, so that I, I would get some walking steps in. Not running steps, walking steps. And then when I was all the way back there, I'm thinking, there's nobody back here. <laughs> but I got it in. I managed to get it in. But when I got home, I thought, there ain't no way. So I just left it in the trunk. <laughs> So I got water in the trunk. I'm going to dig that out tomorrow when I have a little bit more strength. But uh, I did shop accordingly. I didn't get anything um, that I didn't need to get. But I was so tired when I got done with that that I was I was going to get Jim's and Jim's, Jimmy's birthday card. And the cheapest one I could find was $5. So I thought the two cards were going to cost me $10. And I thought, this is ridiculous when I can go for $2.50 and go to the dollar store and get the cards. But I didn't go because I was just too tired. So I thought I'm just going to go tomorrow. But I got the Jimmy wanted a roast. Jim and Jimmy both want a roast for Thursday, so I they had roasts on sale. So I got a couple roasts because we got a lot of people coming. One roast is not going to feed everybody. So I got some roast, and then I got all my vegetables for it, and got my makings for the soup that I'm going to make tomorrow. I'm making a chicken and potato crock pot soup because we're going to go to Sebastian's football game tomorrow. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I that kind of uh, just kind of laying around today. It's a beautiful day. It's sunny out, and I never got a walk in. I was going to go for a walk today, and I didn't do that. But I did get a lot of steps in at the at the grocery store. I know that. And the little bit of parking way in the back of the parking lot. The store is filthy. The grocery store is just filthy. And then when we, I went to turn in my cans, uh, because in Michigan we have a bottle return. And I had two full garbage bags full of, I had like almost $20 worth of empties. That'll give you a clue how many empties I had. And I get back there and there's only, there's six machines and only one's working. So I went to the, to the guy and I said, you know, there's only one machine working. Could somebody go and change the other machines? Oh, somebody, somebody's going to be on their way. 
And I said, okay. So I come back and then another lady gets in line and she's waiting. And I said, he told me somebody's coming. I don't think so. So then he went back and uh, she come, or she went back and she come back. She says, he said it would be a minute or two. I said, that's what he told me. And so then another lady came and she was more determined than me because she went back there and she caused a ruckus. And by the time she got back, there was three more people in line and somebody came and emptied out the cart, <laughs> emptied them out so that we could get our things in. But, and, but we were talking about how dirty, there's other croakers that are in the area, but not close, how nice they are, how clean they are and stuff. But this one is just, there's that fly. <laughs> he wants to be part of my video. He didn't sign a disclaimer, so he's not getting back on here again. Um... Well, they're supposed to be remodeling it come the first of the year. So hopefully they'll do something with the, I don't know, the cleaning of it or something. I don't know. It's just, they have like a really poor, I feel bad for the staff that's there because they've reached the point where they're tired of working for like the work of two and three people and only getting paid for one. And their attitude kind of reflects that. And I really don't blame them for that because, uh, you know, it's like, you can only do so much, and you're not going to please everybody anyhow. And they are trying, but I, I do re realize that you do reach a breaking point. <laughs> and I think that the people that work there have reached a breaking point. And unfortunately, most of the people that they're hiring are like my age. It's like, it's sad. It's just sad that, I don't know if they're working because they want to get out of the house or if they're working because they need to afford to live. I don't know what the deal is. Or if it's just that young people just don't want to work. Because I very rarely see young people working nowadays. I don't know where they're. I don't know where they all are, other than living at home. I mean, I don't have a problem with people living at home if they're, you know, David lives at home, but he but he's working. Did you see him? He just flew by. <laughs> he's going to try to get a cameo in. <laughs> um. Anyway. Um. No, I understand that. You know, sometimes, unfortunately, you have to stay home. You know, and to to survive and to live, but. Where are you working? Because I don't see you out there. I really don't. Any place I'm going around here, there's people that are like 50 or 60 years and older. I don't see them. Even at the Burger Kings and the McDonald's and that, there are not really that many young people working. It's just, I don't know. I know now I'm showing my age. I always thought my grand, you know, well, I didn't really know my grandma's. But I can imagine, like, you'd see them and they're always complaining about the young, young whippersnappers. <laughs> they don't know how good they have it. Sometimes I wonder. I don't think they. I don't think they know how good they have it. I really don't. So, okay. Now I'm just rattling. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's end it for now, and then um, let's not give up. We still have October, November, and December to turn this train around. Oh, speaking of trains, Edie, 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 Edie. You, I give you all the props in the world that you drive all that way for Roman, so he can see the trains. I don't drive anyhow. You know that, but I don't know that. I'd be that dedicated. You are a one damn good mother. You really are. You really are. And I'm sure um, Roman is knows how much you love him and how much I think he appreciates you too. So anyway, yeah, rattling on. Ramblin' Rose. Talk to you guys tomorrow.